the features tab is where you would go to either enroll in new beta features as well as enable or disable many other features. That is, as long as you're an admin. Collaborators can definitely get to this page and they'll be able to see whether a specific feature has been enabled or disabled, but they won't be able to do anything. In order to enroll in any beta features or enable or disable any other features, an admin role is required. Let's check out what this looks like. At the very top, you have the beta features section. At this time, we do have some beta features available, so I can choose to enable them, like this one right here. I can also choose to enroll in these other closed beta features, which will get me on the wait list. I'm not gonna take a deep dive into each one of these beta features right now, I'll have a separate video for that, but just to briefly overview, what we have here is defurnish at the very top, which I just enabled. This is going to allow any technician uploading model data to this account to choose the defurnish option. And that'll just apply the defurnish AI as the model is first being processed. With this feature enabled, you can also apply defurnish to models that have already been processed and are in your account. Currently in closed beta, we've got merge spaces, which allows you to connect between two models. This will allow you to manually align the two models together as they should be aligned and then send that new model in to be processed. Field tags is going to be especially useful because it allows you to create tags and populate those tags with a title and description and so on while you're on site scanning. And finally, currently in closed beta, as of the recording of this video at least, is import and export tags, which is going to be great because it's going to allow you to export your tag assets from one model and import them into another model. If I scroll down a bit, I get to automatic face blurring, and mine is currently deactivated. If I enable this, it doesn't mean that every model that gets uploaded will automatically have all the faces blurred, but it does mean that either my scan tech or I, as we upload the model data, will have that option to select whether we want face blurring or not. I typically do leave this feature off because even when the model data is going through processing and this feature is not applied, it will look for those faces and later on when I go and edit the final digital twin, it'll have suggestions available for me that I can choose to whether apply or not apply. And that way I feel like I have a little bit more control over what I may want to or don't want to blur. Moving down, we have the blur brush, and in this case, mine is enabled because I like having the option available. If I need to blur something, I don't wanna have to go in here, activate it, and then go back in and blur. But it is important to know that the blur brush is destructive, which only means that when you apply the blur to your digital twin, it is permanent. And the only way to undo that is by reprocessing all the model data into a completely new digital twin. The next one down is guided tour story mode, and this really just sets the default. So if I have this enabled, story mode is going to be the default guided tour option. If I have this disabled, the guided tour, or the highlight reel, will be the default option. Regardless of what I set the default mode to be here, I can always change that later on in the model itself. The measurement mode is something that I absolutely recommend having enabled. All your visitors should be able to use the measurement mode. The only thing you may want to tweak here is this drop down right here, which allows you to choose whether your visitors can just take measurements themselves or take measurements as well as see the measurements that you've already captured for them. So I can go in as a collaborator, or administrator of this digital twin, create some measurements of rooms and different things uh, within that space however I want, and those get saved. Whatever measurements your visitors capture as they're walking through the digital twin themselves will only be there during that session. So as soon as their page gets refreshed, their captured measurements will disappear. Of course, the measurements that you capture will always be there until you choose to delete them. And if you choose this option, measure your space and view your measurements, visitors to your digital twin will be able to see those measurements that you took. The next one down is notes. And this is something that I absolutely always have enabled. Think of notes as comments in a Google or Microsoft doc that allows you and your team to collaborate much more efficiently. So because notes is designed for my internal team and visitors to my digital twin will never be able to see these, I just always keep this feature enabled. Property layout is also something that I feel is super useful and I always keep this enabled. This is just, again, the default setting. So I could go into a per digital twin basis and just turn it off for that specific digital twin if I don't want it. But by default, I always choose to have this feature enabled. And same thing goes for space search. Here too, by enabling or disabling this, I'm just choosing what the default option will be. I can always go into the digital twin itself, go into edit, choose advanced settings, and there I'll be able to enable space search for that specific model. And finally, at the very bottom, you have the VR mode. This is that little VR icon that's in the bottom right corner of your showcase window. By disabling this, of course, that little icon is no longer gonna be there, which means anybody with a VR headset that wants to view your digital twin in VR won't be able to. If you wanna keep your showcase window a little bit cleaner and don't see the reason for anybody to view this digital twin in VR, then by all means, go ahead and disable this feature. Normally, however, I do keep this enabled because you never know, somebody may visit this and wanna be able to see it in VR. There is a way to disable this feature from a specific digital twin as opposed to all of your digital twins by using a URL parameter. And if you're not familiar with URL parameters, I have a video all about those that I've linked to in the corner.